friends, it's Christy, and I'm so excited to be back with you on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new Joyous Holidays stamp set. So I've stamped out the images I'll be using with Extreme Black Hybrid Ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with Santa's Skin, and for that I'm using E51 and E53. And while I have those shades out, I'm also coloring in Rudolph's muzzle. Then I'll add in the E50 and use that plus the E51 to color in his antlers. Just adding a little light shading to each of those little ends and then filling in the center with that E50. Next, I'm going to color in Santa's beard. And for that, I'm using E40 and E41. I wanted something different than the typical warm gray, so I thought these might work for that. So I used a little E40 right up under his mustache and on the bottom part of his mustache, blended out with the E40, and then used the colorless blender to soften that into the white. Then I'm using E43, E44, and E47 to color in Rudolph's body. Since he's facing forward, I'm going to add those dark shadows on the outside edges and blend toward the center. So I use that E47 for the darkest and then the E44 for the mid-tone. And then I'm going to save a nice big area for that highlight shade, that E43, just to help him not to get too dark so that you lose all of his features. He has such cute little tiny eyes, and I want to make sure that you can still see them in the final image. Those little stripes on his legs, I'm going to leave those blank for now, and I'll come back to those in a little bit. I have a fun idea for that. For Santa's hat and suit, I'm using R24, R29, and R39. So I laid in a nice shadow on the left hand side since that's the direction that the hat is curved with that R39. And then I just outlined the um, different sections of his coat with that R39 as well. So that I get a nice dark shadow on that outside edge. I'm also going to define the pocket and the underside of his sleeve and then the area right under his beard where that would be casting a shadow. And I don't wanna forget his little legs. And then I'm going to start to blend that out with the R29, which is such a bright, vibrant red. It just makes me think of Christmas. I absolutely love that shade. So I'm going to just carefully begin to blend that out and pulling that R39 into the lighter areas but I'm still going to leave quite a large highlight again for that R24 so that things just stay really nice and vibrant. The background on today's card is going to be pretty dark, so I want these really bright pops of color with the images. So I'll continue filling in that white space, just working around all of those little buttons. And then off screen, I'm also going to color in Rudolph's nose and one of the gifts and the candy cane. And I did forget to do his other arm, but I took care of that off screen as well. And then I'm moving on to the white parts of his jacket and I'm using C0 and C1 for that. Using a little C1 to flick in some shadow from the edges and then I'll blend that out with the C0 and let that fade into the white. And later on, I will also color the star with these shades. I decided to have a silver star for something different. Moving on to his mittens and boots, I'll be using C5 and C7 for that. Just laying in some shadow with that C7 and blending out with the C5. Those areas are so tiny that two shades were fine. And I colored in his buttons with those shades as well. Thought he could have some nice black buttons to resemble the coal which hopefully he's not giving to anybody this year for the latter i started out with g28 and i did both of the side rails and then i came in a little bit on both the left and the right on the rungs but i wanted to have just a little bit of a highlight there so i brought in the g17 to finish that off 
And then I'll also color the stripes on the other gift with these shades. And I'm giving Rudolph some fun leg warmers. I used BG10 for Santa's glasses. And then I took a black gel pen and went over the eyes of both Santa and Rudolph just to help them stand out a little bit more. And that stack of gifts actually came from the hand of another Santa and I just selectively stamped that. So I'll use a white gel pen to eliminate the end of his hand there and trim these out with the matching dies. For my background, I've taped down the Drifts and Hills stencil to a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock. And I'm going to begin to blend on some Distress Oxide inks starting with Evergreen Bow in the center. Just going to um, blend that on, starting on that stencil and then working my way up. And that way I'll get a nice defining edge when I lift that stencil up. So I put down quite a bit of color with that. And then next I'm going to bring in some Lucky Clover. And this time I'm going to come in from the outside edges because I want to keep that center as the lightest part of the card. So I'll bring that in all the way on all three sides and then I'll go back over that transition with the evergreen bow once again. Then I'll bring in some pine needles and darken things up even further. Again just coming in from the outside edges on the top and the two sides and um, just really trying to create kind of like a vignette so that I have that light circle area in the center that's going to be the nice soft glow um, that's going to be the light source as if you know maybe the moon is there behind some clouds and once i am happy with that i will blend it back down in the reverse again just again building up those layers that's um, the best way to get that smooth blend with those distress oxides and then finally i'm going to bring in a little black soot I'm being very light with my pressure here and just adding the barest amount of ink because I don't want it to get too dark on the outside edges. I don't want to lose that brightness, but I definitely want to have just more definition on those three sides there. And then one more time, I will blend back down through all three of those other shades. And that's really when the whole background starts to come together is when everything has that nice soft blend to it. So then I'm going to take a little Perfect Pearls in the shade Perfect Pearls. And I'm going to tap some of that onto an acrylic block and water that down and flick that all over the background just to add some nice shiny snowdrops. And that adds such a pretty glow when you tip it into the light, but it doesn't show up real well straight on. So to intensify that, I'm also going to add some Copic Opaque White, just watering that down once again, and then flicking that all over the background, just as I did before. And now it really starts to look like snowfall. So now I can remove my stencil and the final thing I'm going to do to this background is just add a tiny bit of that evergreen bow to the bottom edge to um, just define that a little bit. And then I'm going to trim this panel down with the A2 Stitch Rectangle Stacks Set 2. And I will also take the Sending Christmas Joy Dynamics and die cut that out of the right hand side. Before I go any farther, I want to stamp a sentiment on the inside of my card. So I'm going back to my Extreme Black Hybrid ink and stamping another little reindeer and a couple of images with a sentiment on some Wild Cherry cardstock that I've folded to a standard size card. And that reads, Hope Your Christmas is Filled with Unexpected Joys. And I stamp that down a couple of times to get a good impression. So I was lucky that all of the letters stayed inside the panel when I was running it through. Uh, but just to make sure that they don't pop out, I'm going to just line the back with a little bit of scotch tape. And then I'm also going to pop it up on foam tape, but I just wanted that extra security as I didn't want any of the letters getting accidentally pushed in in the mail. So I'll peel off the release papers from that foam tape and then I'm going to pop my focal panel up in the center of the card, just making sure that 
all the edges are nice and even with the card base. I wanted my sentiment to be really subtle on today's card, but I also wanted it to be visible. So I'm going to go over all of the letters with a Spectrum Noir clear glitter brush pen. I'm doing just the white parts of the word joy first because once I go into the Distress Oxide, it is going to pick up some of that color. Um, it's going to lighten it a little bit, which is going to help that sentiment to stand out. So I'm just going to go over all of these letters and I'll do some more with those later on, but there you can see when you tip it into the light how those letters stand out. Next, I will adhere my images, and my idea for this entire card was that I thought it would be fun for Santa to be placing the star as if he were dotting the J in the word joy, and I realize it's uppercase, but I just thought it would be kind of fun. So I placed the ladder so it's leaning on the bottom of the J, and I have the star as if he is just topping off the word joy with it. And then over on the far right, I'm going to add my Rudolph. And I thought about stacking my gifts inside the O, but I decided I liked them better over on the far left, as if Santa's maybe using them as a step stool to get onto his ladder so that he can reach even higher. And then I'll take the little candy cane and tuck that into his other hand. And as a final embellishment, and to really make that sentiment stand out, I'm going to take some stardust stickles and add those to the letters. For the word joy, I'm just adding it a little bit here and there because I didn't want to coat them completely. I thought that might be overkill. So I'm doing it on the right hand side of each of those sections of the letter. But for the word sending and Christmas, I will coat those letters completely since they're nice and skinny. And you do want to be a little careful with something like this because it is a liquid. It could potentially make your letters curl up if they got too wet. But I'm just using a tiny little amount. And then with that nozzle, I'm spreading it around on each of those letters. So I'm barely squeezing as I'm pushing down there. And stickles always look better when they dry, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for the photos of how the card really turned out. So I didn't want to add too much more, but I wanted to tie in the rest of the images, so I added it to the star and the whites of Santa's outfit and the gifts and Rudolph's nose. And that is going to complete my card for today. There you can see all of that sparkle in the light and another peek at the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the September edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. Subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye bye